Good morning, everyone. Uh, dear hosts, thank you for uh, the very nice introduction. So what we're going to talk about today is uh, the Millennium Development Goals, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the global dignity. In 2000, the world leaders came together in New York and decided on these eight concrete goals, half extreme poverty by 2015, um, reduce uh, child mortality by two-thirds, etc. Uh, all these uh, goals, um, we've been talking about them for a long time now, um, and it's only four years until 2015. Uh, but these issues are so important that we've got to stay at it. I think it's really important actually to go out there and meet people, um, because it's in the face-to-face -face meetings uh, that are uh, morals are challenged and our ethics are formed. I wanted to tell you a short story from when I was traveling in South Africa a few years back. Um, we were doing a bit of, of fundraising, a Norwegian fundraising campaign, a national one. Um, and we were traveling South Africa focusing on, on HIV AIDS related issues. Um, and we came to a township, a very poor area outside of Durban, uh, and I met a man called Cedric, and uh, he received me outside his home, uh, which was uh, a small house, more like a shack, uh, which I guess was a size from here to the wall. Um, he lived there with um, his family, uh, three children, his wife, and his sister. Uh, his sister was in a wheelchair. Uh, she was uh, disabled, physically challenged. And um, he invited me in, and he told me a bit about his life. And he said that his children and his sister were completely dependent on him, yet he'd found out uh, the year before that he was HIV positive. In this area, you did not have access to drugs, uh, antiretroviral drugs, so he knew that he did not have long to live. And shortly after, they discovered also that his wife was HIV positive. And Cedric said, I'm really worried about the future, because what's going to happen to my children? What's going to happen to my sister? I know that my wife and I, we don't have much longer to live. And he looked me in the eye and he said, Please do everything you can for people like me, because it's hard. Now, two things struck me about Cedric. Um, one was that he was not talking only on behalf of himself and his difficult situation. He was talking on behalf of everyone living in extreme poverty, everyone living in a difficult life situation. He sort of elevated himself above his, his own circumstance and became a spokesperson for people struggling in the world. And the second thing um, that struck me was that he was talking to me, but he wasn't only talking to me. I think he was talking through me. So that's why I like to tell this story whenever I have a chance, because I think that Cedric was talking to you as well. We all want our dignity to be recognized. Um, and you can sort of use that as a, a mean a compass for action. Um, but of course, that doesn't just go for our group. That goes for our common humanity. Uh, so it's something that uh, we all uh, have in common. Now, the good news is that we're making progress on all the goals. Um, and the world is actually moving forward in many ways. There's less poverty, there's less children dying of easily preventable causes, there's better health, there's less war um, and conflict and people dying in conflict, there's more children in schools and there's more gender equality. That's sort of my, my positive message, that the world is actually moving forward in the right way. Too slowly, a lot of problems, but the main trend is that it is actually moving in the right direction. Um, now, let's go through them. Uh, end poverty and hunger. Um, so developing countries have since um, 90, um, when it comes to extreme poverty, people living on less than $1.25 a day, 
1990, you had 45 uh, percent in developing countries living on less than $1.25. Uh, in 2005, it was 27. And by uh, 2015, we think that uh, it looks now from the latest World Bank projections that we're going to um, go below 15 percent, which actually means that we will reach that goal of halving extreme poverty by 2015, which is a great uh, achievement. But, of course, um, most of it is due to the developments in China and India. Uh, other parts of the world are not moving ahead as quickly. Sub-Saharan Africa, for instance, are lagging a bit behind. But it is important to remember that also Sub-Saharan Africa are moving forward in quite a substantial way, 5% growth per year since 1990. So um, that's, that's the positive part. Uh, I wanted to close with um, a quote uh, that I like from uh, Mother Teresa. If you are kind, people might accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are honest, people might cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people might be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you've got. And it may never be enough. Give the world the best you've got anyway. Thank you for your attention.